Hey guys, I have great news. Maybe. Uh, you remember the version 2 uh, I was talking about of the of the open pilot port for the Chevy Bolt? Um, I tried to do it a while back and it failed. And sort of gave up many things led to, I, I, should, I should say, putting it on the back burner. Well, thanks to uh, one of the users, uh, Dave Hoinka, being willing to do be a tester for me uh we i was able to re-implement the um the code to fix the power steering issue with adding 22 lines to a single file i'm no longer using timers no longer using a message pump it's incredibly simple Essentially, what we do is if we get a message that's about to be sent that is coming in shorter time span than 20 milliseconds, we drop it. There's other circumstances that the Panda drops messages too, so we're doing the same thing that the Panda did previously with a, an invalid message. So we drop it uh, if it comes in shorter than 2 milliseconds, or uh, if a message coming in doesn't have the correct next rolling counter value. The rolling counter values go 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. On these newer steering columns, like the ones on the Bolt, uh, they are super picky, and if you get an out-of-order value, they fault in such a way you got to shut the car off. So I found a way that should hopefully be upstreamable. Um, crossing, fingers crossed, once this is upstreamed, uh, people who are not, uh, people who don't need pass through on the camera, or uh, um, have cars that, uh, bleh. what am I trying to say, that have built in longitudinal control, uh, it's just going to be a matter of adding your fingerprint at this point. Um, the the main hurdle to getting the Chevy Bolt running back when I worked on it before was this: we have it fixed. So, I want to thank Dave again for, for helping test this, and uh, he has been trying to get other people to help him, and he was at his wit's end, <laughs> and finally came to me, and I can't resist helping somebody in need. Um, maybe it's a bad habit, I don't know. I'm in a much better place, uh, at least, you know, in my head, than I have been in a long time. I mean, the clouds have parted. Things are getting better. Unfortunately, that I can't say the same for my legs. Um, I can't drive right now. Um, that's why the delays are happening. I can't drive because I can't operate my feet um, correctly. Uh, <laughs> it wouldn't be safe. Kind of makes it hard to test this stuff when you are unable to actuate a brake pedal and a gas pedal. I mean, yeah, it's nice that the car can do it itself, but you still got to get yourself up to speed. <laughs> uh, anyhow, uh, what this means is... We are on the path toward getting people using a Chevy Bolt um, on a modern version of Open Pilot and possibly not having to use a custom fork. Um, it would be just fantastic if we can get this stuff upstreamed uh, into comma.ai's uh, code base and then, you know, pipe dream down the road, we can get the Bolt and all these other cars added as uh, community supported. Um, that I believe to do that we have to have longitudinal, uh, which you know we we may have some possibilities to add longitudinal uh, to cars now that there's a bolt coming out with um, what do you call it the uh, adaptive cruise control. Uh, we we may be able to do some stuff to bring adaptive crews to older cars. Maybe. I don't know, but I'm not making any promises. Um, 
at the very minimum case, we can get the sort of mild adaptive cruise, uh, where it can't do hard braking, but it can use the uh, regenerative braking. We've got that in the bag, pretty much, using the pedal interceptor. It's very possible that that will be acceptable uh, for a community-supported uh a community supported vehicle. I can't make any promises again, but this is this is hope. This is this is good news. Um those of you uh waiting on a product still, uh if you haven't got your refund yet, send an email to support at standbacklabs.com. Uh I have a little bit of a problem that uh, I've got like four or five, four or five different uh, data sources. Uh, one of them I don't have access to. Uh, the other four, there's no keys between them. And it's it's hard to tell who has gotten their refund, who wanted it, and who hasn't. So I know it's a, a pain. I know it's a hassle. I apologize. If you want the refund uh, and you haven't gotten it yet, uh, shoot an email to support at standbacklabs.com. We will get that worked out. Um, if you still want the product, you kind of have two choices. You can, uh, you know, I can build what I've got already. Um, or if you want to wait a little bit longer, I still, well, I can't promise how much longer that would be. So <laughs> if you have uh, all the patience in the world, then an option would be to wait for me to revise the design of the harness uh, adapter. Um, uh, so we can get dash notifications. That's primarily what I'd like to bring in. Uh, otherwise, request a refund and wait until I have it done. You know, uh, it's it's entirely up to you. Um, and I do apologize if I haven't gotten to it. Send the email get me updated and we will get it taken care of so all right guys uh thanks for watching let's cross our fingers that this is upstreamed um and uh if it is upstreamed i will well it, even if if it is or if it isn't I'm, I'm gonna keep uh working on building the rest of the the stuff the bringing the longitudinal back and all that for the bolt and uh we, we could be right on the road to uh, not having to use a custom port. And, oh, that would be fantastic for everyone. So, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for your support. Thanks for hanging in there. And uh, you guys have a great day.